What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Oh my god, you guys. Hi! How are you? <laughs> now, oh my god, since my last video, we launched Jeffree Star Skin. The world is, is, it's, uh, a lot's happening in the world. It's March, by the way. 2022 is zooming by. I can't believe I have skincare. I have a line. It's out. Oh my god. And the feedback has been astronomically amazing. So thank you guys so much for such a crazy launch. I'm like, my head is still spinning. And we're back, baby. I needed a week or two to clear my head. I have so much on my plate business-wise, which is the best thing ever. I'm so blessed and grateful to be busy. But you guys, hi, I missed you. It's been a few weeks. How are you? Okay, so today, you, I mean, hello, you saw the title. I have a new family member, oh my God. And I've been keeping it a secret and I've been really naughty, so I'm sorry. Yes, it was time, you guys. I really wanted to expand my family now that I'm living in Wyoming and I have a lot to show and reveal today. So I have been doing a lot of vlogging. A lot of you guys are like, Jeffrey, vlog more. So we've been vlogging, we have a lot of stuff, and this video is a little journey. So before we dive in into my new family member, you guys, how is everyone doing? Life is crazy. It's the year is, is, is creeping by, it's about to be spring, so much is happening, and I'm like, oh my god. So we have a lot of stuff coming for Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and a lot of you are like, Jeffree, you haven't had a palette out in a minute. Well, baby, I have a lot of photo shoots. I'm gonna be jet setting. I'm actually going to the Houston rodeo next week. And then I'm back in LA for meetings, photo shoots, and then always back to Wyoming. That is my happy place where of course now I have eight Pomeranians and 95 yaks. Yes, I'm sure y'all have seen me at the tractor supply with me and my yaks. We've been having a blast, you guys, and I think they need to go on a little tour soon. Farmer Jeff is officially activated. Okay, it's time for me to shut up so you guys can meet my new baby. I have eight Pomeranians now, you guys, and I'm so excited for you guys to go on a little journey with me. So sit tight, grab a Red Bull, let's roll. Okay, you guys, I had to have a little fun, but don't tell it. Hey, Blinky. Okay, so. I've been keeping a secret from you guys. There's been a lot of secrets happening. A lot of, a lot of stuff has happened in the last six months. But in my heart and in my soul, life told me it's time for a new baby. So yes, Donatella turned one on my birthday. We share a Scorpio birthday, November 15th. And you guys, I got a new baby. It was time. Donatella is a year old. We're at a new residence, of course. We're in Wyoming and I have a lot of help. You know the dogs have a security guard. They have a nanny. They have me and I love raising puppies. So. Do you guys want to meet my 10th puppy? Come on. Oh, hi everyone. <laughs> oh my God. My heart is so full. This has been the best few weeks. It's been so hard to keep this a secret, but you guys, this is little Drizzle Lynn Star. Say hi, Mr. Man. Now he just woke up from a nap. He is a sleepy boy. He has been playing so much with his brothers and sisters. Oh, did you bring his ducky? <laughs> Um, but you guys, this is my eighth dog. Now my 10th puppy I've ever had. You guys know 19 was a crazy year. So I love animals, you guys know so much. And life was like, it's time for another baby. So we have had the best time here at the Star Yak Ranch with our new Pomeranian. <laughs> da Vinci, come here, boy. Now they've been playing a lot. Oh, Vinci, you like your brother? Drizzle is so cool. Oh, you like your brother? Get him, Vinci. <laughs> Look how sweet Da Vinci is. <laughs> you just want to play, huh? Go get him, Vizzy. <laughs> Chris, how do you feel about my Coca-Cola Crocs? Oh, do you wanna, they're crazy. Do you want to throw up or do you like them? I love them. <laughs> oh, he's so precious. Here, let's get him to come out here. Come on, Drizzy. <laughs> come on, boy. Drizzy. <laughs> he is so precious. We're having the time of our lives with him. Just get him, boy. Get him, D. <laughs> Where's your baby? <laughs> that is so cute. Tommy, come on. <laughs> look at oh, look. Oh. oh my god, that was vicious. Now, I know some people may find it a little wild to have eight dogs, but we obviously have the room. Um, I have a lot of help, and I have a very big heart, and I love animals so much, and... Oh, it's so cool to see them all just playing together. Drizzle is getting along famously with everyone and I really think that my oldest diva he has such a young spirit because of all the babies so we are having the time of our lives out there and this is my first time raising a dog in the winter with snow so drizzle he's been loving the snow and we'll show you guys that soon but look at how adorable they are and they're all just getting along and my heart is so full <laughs> look at diva diva hi beautiful man 
When we showed you the last Wyoming vlog, Diva's eyes looked really crazy and people were like, what is going on? He had a lot of severe medication on his eyes. His cataracts had been removed for like, what, a few weeks? Now it's been months and he's doing so well. He's not blind anymore. Mm -hmm. Big boy. Dessert, what are you yelling about? Okay, you guys, this is little Drizzle. You have officially met him. He is such a cool little boy. Huh, you crazy man. All right, I'm about to put on some winter clothes and it's time for you to have a nap, mister. Huh. Um, I do have to feed the dogs and then it's time. When you, when you live on a ranch, a lot of stuff can happen. And we actually have Terry back who is our animal trainer. She's amazing and last time we really worked a lot with the yaks. I'm gonna throw out some footage right now. And you see us haltering and I'm pulling on that yak. <laughs> it's so fun. And haltering is really important. We'll dive into that later, but it really calms them down and, and shows them manners. So as you see, they struggle for a minute because they're learning and then they really get it because yaks are so smart. All right, Drizzle, mama has to go be a rancher. So you guys, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we're back. We're in a little more uh, appropriate attire. Now, tomorrow, I'm flying back to LA. There's a lot happening. I have makeup to review, and then I'm jetting off to Paris for work, and I'm so excited. Um, Louis Vuitton is flying out, me, for Virgil's last runway show ever. Rest in peace, fucking icon and legend. He passed away recently, which was devastating for the fashion community. Um, and he has done so many extraordinary things for Vuitton and some of my favorite collections. So we're off to Paris to see his last show ever. But before that, we're gonna go do some yak chores and then I gotta pack my suitcase and get back on the jet. So let's get it moving. All right, so when you get a DNA test back from a yak, they are officially registered. So Mr. Swiss Chocolate here, our chocolate bull, he is getting his official ear tag today and he's been doing so great at halter training. Um, let's make him a real official yak. Look at his ear, Chris. Oh, look. <laughs> he's official. Big boy. Imagine when he's older, we're gonna ride him. Right? That'd be so cool. Yaks love their ears scratched. <laughs> you like your ears really going, dude. Hi girls! Look at all my girls, Chris. Hi ladies! <laughs> now a lot of these I've already halter trained and this is in my home pasture, which is so cool. I get to have yaks surrounding my house. Like, isn't that fucking crazy? That is crazy. Hi Milkshake! He's so sweet. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> all right you guys, another beautiful day in Wyoming. It's windy, it's gorgeous. But I'm off to Paris in a few days and I'm gonna miss this baby so much. But mommy will be home in six days, but I'm gonna be vlogging these crazy adventures. So I'll see y'all soon. Mwah. Oh my God, how adorable is little Drizzle, you guys? Now, I think a lot of people always ask, like, Jeffrey, you travel a lot. How do you manage and have so many dogs? Now, you guys, my assistant and my ranch hands, um, they give the dogs love 24 7 when I'm not there. And I obviously love to be home. I'm obsessed with my animals. Um, and if you guys didn't know, I FaceTime them about 10 times a day. My assistant may want to slap me upside the head, but I love seeing them. They hear my voices on the phone and I love, I mean, I face them at the airport, at the restaurant. <laughs> I'm fucking obnoxious about it. Okay, now besides Drizzle, you guys, of course, I've done a few really amazing trips and I did some vlogging on the way to Paris <laughs> um, and actually sh was shooting a video that day in the airport and everything. So I'm gonna take you on a little journey to Paris. Let's dive in into the Jeffree Star X Paris Louis Vuitton adventure. Oh, good morning, everyone. We are here with Mr. Luis Torres. He came over today to get me ready for my mystery box shoot. Yes, bitch, can you believe Valentine's is around the corner and I have no idea when y'all are gonna be seeing this footage, but oh my God, look at these eyes, honey. Woo, so cool. My hair is bleached, makeup is almost done, and she's feeling the fantasy. And literally in three hours, we're going to Paris. So we're gonna go on a full vlog journey today. Um, Jeffree Star is behind the wheel of the camera. <laughs> what was your inspiration today? Because this is sickening. My inspiration is like little, not a little, a big pink moment, like pink religion. Yes. But meets like runway, because you're going to runway. We are, yeah. It, it looks amazing. I'm obsessed with it. Woo! All right, you guys, so we're gonna get to it and get to filming, and I'll be right back. Almost time for the airport. Girl, got my passport, got my ID, got a mask, got makeup, <laughs> got my fucking new selfie light. 
we have our computer, we have headphones, we have an Hermes sleep suit, glasses. Um, and, yes, y'all, we're going to the airport. I just got dressed. Now we are, of course, going with Louis Vuitton, so you will only see me in Louis Vuitton. <laughs> um, look at the pattern on this. So cute. I love this. But Boom should be here in a minute. We're gonna go to the airport together. Um, and normally someone packs for me. You guys, hi. When you work this hard, you have a lot of help. Um, not that I can't do it myself, because today I'm packing myself. <laughs> um, so let's get upstairs real quick, finish packing, look through all of our stuff, and then we really need to get to the airport and get this show on the road. I have all my makeup packed. Boom is bringing his full kit and he's gonna get me ready every day. Um, but I had to bring some essentials and also, I have a lot of makeup to test when I get home. Like this new Gucci eyeshadow palette, it's like over $150. I'm like, girl. But I'm a little winded because you all know this house is way too fucking big. So I'm running from room to room. <laughs> oh my God, okay. So, I don't travel with like high-end actual suitcases. So you're gonna see me with suitcases from Ross and Walmart, bitch, because they get beat up like that right there. Imagine if that was Louis Vuitton. Absolutely not. So we have our bags packed. Hi. I think everything I need is here. I really want to take this though. This is brand new, the Virgil design. Like, it's so unreal. <sighs> if anyone else travels a lot, you know how you always forget something? Definitely, that's probably gonna be me, but I'm just so excited for the trip. I haven't been to Paris in a few years. I'm trying to think the last time I was there. I think it was with Balmain and also a meet and greet with Mary and O. So we've done, we've done a lot, but it's time to get back on the road. It feels so good. I don't know if anyone else felt like this, but 2021, it was kind of hard to exist sometimes. So no matter who you are, it was just kind of hard to exist. So let me close this vault up and let's get to LAX. All right, Miss Boomlin is coming to Paris. What's up? First time, right? I'm so excited. First time. Wow. How First fucking time. sickening. He's packing our full fucking kit. He also brought me Shake Shack, so we're about to get into this little cookies and cream shake. I'm gonna need a real meal before I get on this <laughs> Yeah, I don't like airplane food, but I gotta tell you, the food in Paris is fucking amazing. I'm excited. We all know I'm a picky eater, but baby, you can eat some exotic shit out there, okay? It's giving octopus, horse, yeah. <laughs> some crazy ass shit, but y'all know I'm gonna stick to cheese, bread, and chocolate mainly. That's my meal. I got Mexican food for me. You did? I, I live for you. Please show the camera what you got, you fucking. <laughs> I got birria tacos. Amazing. With repollo on top. Damn. Okay. <laughs> it's right next door to uh, Shake Shack. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's right by your house. Yeah. We're not eating at LAX. We're gonna eat at my house. But we have five minutes before we're we're, we're on time. But yeah, we're on time. now, if you don't know me, when I eat a cheeseburger, I don't like the top bun. So this top bun needs to get the fuck out of my face, this girl. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. I can't wait for you to see the Eiffel Tower in real life. I'm excited. How iconic. It's Hidden Hills. I'll see you next weekend. It's off to Paris. We got our Louis Vuitton and our Shake Shack, and that's really, bitch, all we need. <laughs> oh, my lord. Ugh. All right, house. Until next time, see you later. Hi there. Good, how are you? All right, vaccination cards approved. Yes, boom it in Let me know what test you need first. I have Jeffrey's and mine. Look, the sun looks so pretty right now. Look at this eyeshadow, bitch. LAX, you're giving me all the motherfucking lighting I need, girl. They're checking our negative COVID test right now. Hi, boom it She's feeling negative. Look how sickening you look. <laughs> Don't want to break a nail. No, I was okay. The diamonds on my face are everything. Okay. Waiting for tonight. Wow. It's giving <laughs> diamonds dancing. Okay. All right, bitch. Let's get this luggage in, and it's time to go to the lounge. Oh, hi. We got lighting here. 
Oh wow. So we're off to Paris, just yes. me and Black China. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna fuck some shit up. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> behave too. We are. We're not gonna get kicked out, we're not getting arrested, we're just gonna go have a few moments <laughs> at some fashion shows. <laughs> <laughs> we're not vaccinated, get the fuck away from me. Right. So guess and, what that means. And get the fuck away from her. That's what That's that means. Right. All right, I'm this is a twelve hour flight. Yeah, what about So I may do your makeup. Ooh. We may do, we may, I don't have my kit. Right? Yeah, we may, we may do each other's makeup because we got a long flight. All right, we're about to do a photo shoot. Bye. We are off to our gate. So excited. Okay, it's happening. Anthony, how are we feeling? Amazing. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you hear that? Yes, French! We're officially in our seats. <laughs> Miss Bloomington over there looking like Paris Hilton. <laughs> okay. Um, and we're in our seats for the old tour. Thank God we have a flat bed. Thank God. <laughs> you click this little button and it opens like a shelf. My first class are we doing this. I'm having flashbacks of when I used to do music and I traveled for 10 years in the very back of the plane. Um, definitely feeling grateful. We have a 12 hour flight ahead of us, so I'm gonna hang out with Boom for a little bit and then we're gonna sleep, baby. We're gonna go into our cryo chambers and we're gonna wake up in Paris. And I cannot wait, you guys. So I'll do some check-ins. And before I go to sleep, we can't, we can't sleep with makeup on. Y'all know my number one rule of life, don't sleep with your makeup on. So we're gonna go in the bathroom or we're gonna set up a little light right here when the plane takes off and I'm gonna deface. So I'll see y'all shortly. Right, we're in the air and we have some food. Now this is the appetizer. Now we all, we all know I'm a picky ass eater. So I stole Bloom's extra brie because I'm a cheese whore. Um, and this is the appetizer. The dinner is like a whole chicken moment. Um, and then like a little juvenile, I have some apple juice. Bloom, we have some white wine. Uh, some champagne. Yes, champagne, cheers. cheers. Woo! Salute. Salute. Amazing, all right y'all, let me get this in my belly, but I really need the chicken, okay? <laughs> now, Boom has also never had caviar, so we're gonna take him to one of the sickest places, and he is, he's gonna have some real caviar, Perry. Let's see. Y'all, here's what the first class meal is giving, minus my broken up bread. <laughs> what is this, friend? This is chicken. And mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, obviously, and then what's this? <laughs> this is baby food? What is this? It tastes like it. It's awful. You hate it? I just tried the mashed potatoes and it's like so grainy. No. <laughs> grainy? Really? Grainy girl, like rocks. <laughs> oh my god. Not rocks. I guess I'm gonna try it. Try it. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Those were 
Look how lashes are beautiful. That was so sweet. She said I was really beautiful each way. I was like, yes, yeah, look, looking yeah. like Two Face. Look, friend. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, it's a new year. Come see the different side of Jeffrey Lynn. Jeffrey Lynn, Stanninger, the star of the fifth of the House of Targaryen, Pomeranian, bitch. <laughs> I have a real eyebrow, this is so weird. Tenth grade me is disgusting. <laughs> Did it just get darker in here? Yeah. They want us to go to sleep. Oh, they want us to go to sleep. Okay, let <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, you guys, makeup is off. It's time to go to sleep. I love you so much. See you in Paris. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so. Here's the crazy part about Paris is that we really enjoyed the trip and I didn't vlog at all. So like you guys, Jeffree Star flopped. We had an, a, like the most amazing, incredible, beautiful time. It was so surreal. And I almost felt like I was being disrespectful by bringing a vlog camera in one of the most prestigious fashion shows ever. So uh, I kept my camera in the hotel. But the journey there was really funny. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and there's so much more coming, you guys. And little Drizzle, oh my god. I, I, uh, I can't. He's, and he's already so big because we shot that like a month or two ago and he was born November 4th so he's my third Scorpio dog and yeah it's March he's already four months old oh my god so it's time to get back to Wyoming Jeffree Star skin launched there's so much more happening but it's time to get to the ranch see the yaks and I'll see you guys on the next video <laughs> bye guys